Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to Primrose Lake 3. We are still at the general store. Okay, perfect couple. Question mark. It must be about Jenny and Matthew. Okay, I'll admit it. Primrose Lake does have its own quirky appeal. I can see why you like it. If you don't mind me saying so, you make a handsome couple. Mind? Heck, you can say it again and louder if you're... So I'm sure she... I'm sure she heard you. He's nice. He is. And handsome. He is. And if you stay here, you could do a lot worse. Besides... It'd be a lot less confusing for all of us if you if you were Jenny Baker instead of Jenny Clary Butler. Just saying. <laughs> Don't lose any customers. I will try not to.
Come on, there you There's ox. Nice for you to drop by. I had some errands to run. You've been doing a lot of that lately. Suit yourself. Who am I to pry into another other people's business? Still a quiet town. <coughs> Is it with all the moonshine around? Where have you been? We've missed all the kinds of excitement. Did you know Jenny's fiance is in town? Oh, and some old persimmons rich city friends are here. They're so elegant, proper ladies. You see, you should see them. Gosh, Fiona, don't suppose you'd go out with me. Eek! H have you been drinking? Primrose is a dry county, for Pete's sake. Oh, Fiona, I think you prettier than when I'm sober. Go out with me, won't you, Fiona? Shoo, shoo now. Eek! Get on out, Ox says. Go. <laughs> Thanks for that, Ox. I swear... What has gotten into people? I know what's gotten into people. Y'all are just too blind to know it. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, his name is Zeke. She was saying Zeke, not Eek. <laughs> there he comes again. Nope. I'm coming. There you are, little guy. Get out of here.
Freaking lets me be on their porch. Two stars. For some reason, I can't get three. <laughs> Look here! I got a souvenir. <laughs> here you go, Sheriff. With moves like that, you make a good deputy. I don't mind helping out here and there, but I've got more history on the other side of the law. Sometimes that's what it takes to make a good cop. Makes you simplistic steel. Honestly, Glenn, I'm not sure I can give you a choice in the matter. The whole town has gone nuts, and I've got my hands full. Come on, Deputy Morehouse. I'll be sure to go when no one does a background check. Deputy Millhouse sounds like a character in a western. Well then, what choice do I have? <laughs> the dude stole the sheriff's hat. Family quarters. Still star 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 lane. Have um, have you ever read anything about bad blood in the family? You mean like a family feud? Because you know Charlotte's sons were never quite the same after she died. How so? I mean, was there something about my grandfather specifically? Honey. Get the point. Something ha has you in a twist. And I can't help if you don't spit it out. I gotta get back to the store. Glenn's been after me for about my hours. The message in Clary's sketchbook, it disappeared. Upstairs. Should we try a random page? Uh... Oh, it's this again. Wrong, right color, wrong order. Right color, right order. Or cannot be used. Let's try blue, green, red, yellow. Nope. Color not used. Try green, blue, red, purple. Green's in the right spot. So purple's not used. So green, red, blue, yellow. Green, yellow, blue, red. Chester, Chester, Chester. I wish I had met him. Surely he has the angel in Jefferson's Lucifer to Jefferson's Lucifer. Today I was Jefferson, holding the broken watch forever tucked into his coat, coat pocket, as, as though, though those bent hands would somehow spring to life. It was Chester and Jeff who would never tell me why he carried it. Today I pressed him. He said I keep it to remind me of the time where time keeps ticking even after we're gone he wouldn't say more but it fuels my ins ins uh, suspicions wow it almost sounds like she thinks jw killed Jess jester it kind of does doesn't it
that will be it. We'll stop it right there because we're starting at the jail. But anyways, that part was funny when he stole the sheriff's hat. I can't help but start keep laughing. But yeah, the town's not so quiet anymore. So what's going to see what the sheriff's going to do about it. And now that she's got Glenn on her side as deputy. But anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. If you like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I upload twice today. And I'll see you lovelies in the next video. Bye, guys.